What's up guys, Sparks here back with another Gods of Victory Nikkei video and I want to go over some of the developer notes that were released recently. So we're getting a big update to the game, uh, we're getting our new character Laplace or Laplace, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, I haven't gotten to her in the story yet so let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm just going to go with Laplace for now even though I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Uh, but we're getting our second brand new Nikkei uh, added and she's going to have her own independent banner kind of like Helm did. I assume it's going to work the same way. Uh, we're also getting a new in-game event, which uh, will center around her story as well. So pretty exciting stuff. But as I'm sure we all know, there's a bunch of things in the game that, uh, let's say, aren't working quite the way they're supposed to. And so let's take a look at what the developer has to say. So we have these developer notes that were just released, and they've kind of laid out... Um, First of all, just saying, hey, we hear you, we know there's problems, and we're working on them. So I do appreciate this, we're getting some communication. I think that's something that uh, a lot of people have criticized uh, ShiftUp and the development team for just not communicating with the community, um, and we just don't know, like, hey, what are you doing? Are you working on this? And it's been kind of like radio silence, particularly for the global community. I think that might be a little bit different uh, on the JP side and uh, the KR side as well. Um, but for global, at least, we haven't really gotten a lot. So it's great to see uh, these developer notes that were released. So it says the following will be resolved by the end of November. Um, the issue where the notification reappears even when there are no available rewards in the day by day event. Okay, so we've probably all seen that red dot. It never goes away. They're fixing that. That's good. Um, and even though it says by the end of November, so technically this could be a week from now, but I'm hoping this is included in today's uh, update, in the new patch. And I'll probably add a little bit on the end of this video actually just to like quickly take a look and see if this stuff actually did work or I might release a second video depending on if maintenance gets delayed or not. So future me uh, and you will find out at the same time. Anyway, uh, several display issues such as the character registered in synchro device leveling being displayed as level one. I haven't personally experienced this, but that's good. Another bug fix that they're addressing. Uh, the issue where the effect of enhanced critical damage on Maiden skill 2 is not applied. Um, so her skill was basically completely broken, didn't work at all, so they're fixing that. Uh, incorrect skill description on several other characters. Good, but honestly that's a pretty low bar. I mean, come on, like, I feel like, again, developers, if you're watching this, I don't want to just bash on you. I know you've all been working really hard. This is a huge global launch, and something that most games don't even do. Um, you know, Shift Up has launched this game simultaneously in multiple regions, which is kind of unheard of for mobile games. So this is a big workload. But still, I feel like if you can't even get your translations correct, if that's the issue, or the skill description is written wrong, you know, this is a simple text issue, which seems kind of silly. So now it kind of makes me wonder, are some of the skills that we thought were bugged actually bugged? Or did we just not know what the skill was actually supposed to do in the first place because it was written wrong? So we'll find that out. What else? Uh, the issue where Rapture's core does not take any damage when it is attacked. So this is obviously going to be a huge problem if you're trying to clear some harder stages. If the Rapture's core just isn't taking damage, what can you do? <laughs> uh, the issue where occasionally the error message failed to sync combat info pops up after a stage is cleared. This has happened to me a couple times. This is very frustrating because uh, like I think this happened after beating the stage 4 boss, maybe it was the stage 5 boss, the one where the big building like comes alive. It's a super epic fight, it was amazing, and I beat it for the first time, and then I had to do it all over again because it glitched out and said failed to sync combat info. So, very good that they're fixing that. Uh, many commanders have pointed out that the free gem gift packs is not distinct enough. So, uh, this isn't really a bug they're fixing, but basically there's a difference between the paid gems and the free gems and when you're buying them it doesn't clearly define necessarily whether they're going to be free or paid so the work on that paid banner we are guaranteed ssrs so i think it's definitely a good quality of life upgrade uh that they are going to improve that uh you know just uh visually okay furthermore during december okay so that's all the stuff that maybe we can hope for right now today or possibly in the next week the rest of these things are issues that they know about but are going to take a little bit longer to fix. The issue where the notification does not disappear even where there are no available rewards. Okay, we've seen that. 
the issue where the notification is not displayed properly in the simulation room, lost sector, harmony cube, and recycling room, etc. I've seen this a couple times as well. You know, these are kind of minor annoyances. They're not game breaking type things. Uh, improvements will also be made in the battle portion of the game. So here's like really important game mechanics, I'm assuming. The issue where the critical rate is negative in certain situations. Okay, so this sounds like there's skills when we're supposed to be in, uh, increasing critical rate and it's actually working in the opposite effect. That's a big problem. Uh, the issue where the screen shaking option and max frame rate affect the interaction to the core, which reduces the final damage dealt. Okay, so I've released a whole video on this. Um, if you turn the screen shake off right now, you'll do about 15% more damage than you would have if you had the screen shake on. We weren't sure if this was actually a bug or if it was just the system bogging down from calculating the screen shake. Uh, seems like this is actually a bug and they are working to fix this. So right now, um, I've been playing the screen shake off. Hopefully all of you guys have been as well. If you're not trying to do that, go check my video. Um, I made a short on it so you can learn how to do that in a few seconds. Uh, what else? Many gameplay issues will be resolved as well. The issue where the game crashes when players enter Harmony Cube in certain circumstances. Okay, good. We're not going to get as much crashing. The issue where some buffs in the simulation room that should take effect randomly have a 100% chance of taking effect. So this might actually make the simulation room a little bit more difficult. The issue where the Tyrant class raptures would not stop moving. Or sorry, would stop moving. I have seen this once where it just froze in place. Uh, the issue where the actual waiting time in outpost defense is longer than the time recorded in the rewards given. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, good to know that they'll fix that issue. And to provide commanders with a better gaming experience, we will also reduce the difficulty of the game so that players will not face a sharp decline in character stats in cases where the combat powers only differ by one. We are carefully testing and making sure that the adjustment will not increase the difficulty of certain stages. I'm not quite sure what this means. So it sounds like they're going to be adjusting the debuff. So if you're under the recommended power, your squad will receive a debuff. I've done this in a video as well, um, where you're going to be even weaker than you would be. Um, it sounds like they're going to adjust this if you're only one under the power. I don't know. Let me know what you think this actually means, because that's kind of strange. I mean, how many times are you actually going to be just one under that power? But it sounds like they're going to decrease the sharp decline in character stats. Let me know what you think that means. This is definitely something to do with that debuff when you're under the recommended power, but it's hard for me to believe that it's actually only be adjusted for being one off. It's a little strange. So again, let me know in the comments below um, if you know what that actually means or what your best guess is. The anti-cheat feature will be enhanced. Good. We don't like cheaters. No matter what, uh, if you think there's anything wrong with the game or whatever, doesn't give you an excuse to cheat. We don't want anybody cheating. It just ruins everyone else's experience. Um, and it says, and the sanctions for hatcher, hackers, hatchers? What is that? The sanctions for hackers will be strengthened. I'm 100% for this. Uh, we will continue to monitor unfair behavior, such as hacking, and take any necessary steps to improve our anti-cheat measures. All right, then it goes on to say... Furthermore, issues such as players being unable to obtain rewards like lost relics will be fixed throughout December. Okay, I haven't run into this, but maybe when you're picking things up on the map, this has been a problem. Um, so later on in December, I guess, uh, this is more of a minor issue that they're going to tackle. Um, and then it gives you some information here on uh, what to contact uh, if you've had experience uh, not receiving your rewards. All right. So that's everything we can hope for, hopefully with this patch coming today and then later on throughout December. It kind of sounds like there might still be some bugs with character skills, or it might go back to what it was saying about uh, there just being a description. Uh, where was that? I'm not sure. I can't find it. But anyway, just the description of skills being wrong. So maybe it always has been working how we're supposed to, and it's just saying the wrong thing. Anyway. Um, good. It's good to know that they're working on the game. It's good to get some information um, about it, some clarification. Uh, let me know what you guys are hoping for to have improved the most. I'm looking forward to pulling for Laplace. This will be my first time actually pulling for gems, probably in my next video. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please give me a sub and like the video, comment, share, 
I'm trying to reach a goal of 500 subscriptions and I really appreciate your support.